some data type conversions are going to happen automatically. For example, whenever you convert from a smaller number to a larger number, or you want to save a smaller number into a larger container, that type of, of conversion is going to happen automatically for you. You really don't have to worry about that. But if you wish to explicitly convert from one simple type to another, and you want, for example, a larger object to be saved into a smaller container, then you must explicitly cast. Now, casting is pretty simple. All we're going to do is take the data type that we want to cast the result into and put that data type identifier in parentheses immediately before the value that we wish to cast. So in this particular example, we're assuming we have a variable called int result. Int result is going to store the value, the value that's created by adding the long data types, val1 and val2, together. Unfortunately, you can't add two longs together and store them into an integer because a long plus a long is going to result in a long data type. The only way to accomplish this without error is to cast that result as an int. Now, there may be an overflow problem here. That's your responsibility. If you explicitly cast, you are accepting our responsibility that the conversion of the data from one type to another will not result in any type of data corruption. 